Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Jessica and today I'm doing a whole house extreme clean with me. There's tons of cleaning motivation and I'm sharing some fun new products and a haul. So I hope you guys will stay tuned. I'm also taking down my spring and summer decor and getting ready to decorate for fall. So that's super exciting. So welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Jessica, and I'm gonna go ahead and address the first thing that you're noticing, which is my hair. I do have extensions in. These are the hand-tied extensions, so they're sewn into my hair, and I just got them last Saturday. So I've had them for a few days now, maybe five days, but um, I'm still getting used to them. They are so pretty though, and I'm loving my hair. I wish that I could just have this naturally, but we're not all blessed with beautiful thick hair. So thankfully there are things that we can do about it. But anyways, I just wanted to address that because I know somebody was gonna ask or think that my hair grew overnight and it definitely didn't. It's just extension. Okay, so my bathroom is disgusting. I'm fixing to show you guys an overview of it. I'm gonna clean that first. I need to change my bed sheets and I'm washing my comforter or the quilt that goes over my bed. I'm actually washing that right now um, because I, I like to wash it about once a month and um, it needed it. So I'm washing it now so that it'll hopefully be done when I'm ready to put the sheets on and I can just put it on and be done. And then we're gonna clean the living room and kitchen and downstairs. I'm gonna be focusing on putting up all of my summer decor, like my lavender plants and any like pink florals or something like that that I have that's more summer or spring because I'm gonna be bringing out my fall stuff really, really soon. So make sure that you are subscribed if you wanna see me decorate for fall because I am gonna be doing that very soon. Look for that video on September 2nd. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just declutter my bathroom counter here. As you can see, it's a crazy mess because I just haven't been picking up after I do my hair and makeup like I normally do. I normally will do my hair and makeup and then I straighten up before I even leave, but life has been crazy. And honestly, I've just been in kind of a funk with cleaning lately. I was talking about this over on Instagram. I just really haven't been enjoying cleaning and I can't really get motivated or in the mood to do it. So things have been a little bit different, but it's okay because we all go through these phases. And also I had something on my elbow in this video and I have no idea what it was. It was on my elbow all day. I ended up noticing it later that evening and I still don't know what it was. So it's kind of funny, but yeah, if you guys ever get in a funk where you don't really enjoy cleaning, just know you're not alone because even I get that way and I've definitely been that way recently. Today's video is sponsored by Scentbird and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. So these next clips, I'm gonna be talking all about it. Okay guys, so I took a break from cleaning really quickly because since I cleaned my countertop off, you might've seen that I had a bunch of these laying up there. And I wanna share with you what they are because I am so excited, so excited about this company and so excited about sharing what they are with you. Okay, so if you've never heard of Scentbird, what they are is a monthly subscription box of perfumes and colognes where you can sample over 600 different fragrances. So Scentbird lets you choose a designer fragrance every single month for $15. They have men and women scents. You can upgrade your box if you wanna do like two or three scents a month, but each scent looks like this and it comes in different colors. You just twist it up like this and then you can spray. So with each fragrance, you're gonna get a 30 day supply. So this is 30 days worth of fragrance. I honestly think it would be a little more than that depending on how much you wear. I wear a couple spritz like here and a couple here. I think this would last me 
a lot longer than 30 days. It just kind of depends on you, I guess, but this is way more than you're gonna get at any trial size in store. I'm gonna show you what it looks like because on this really cute packaging, as you can see, the packaging is absolutely adorable. They do come in different colors. I have, they all came, all the ones that I ordered came in different colors, but when I got them, I was like, okay, how do I know what scent is in here? Because while it is adorable, I need to know what's in here. And I finally figured it out with some help. So you twist up and that's how you get the little nozzle to spray. And then if you just turn it upside down and pull, it will come out. And right there is the label for your perfume. So you can see here how much you're getting. And this one is Burberry by, <clears throat> excuse me, this is Burberry Brit Sheer. And I really didn't know what I wanted to get when I ordered because I've been wanting to get a perfume for a really, really long time. And right now you can't even sample them in the storage. You can't even smell them or spray them or anything, which is a huge bummer. I am definitely not going to spend $80 to $100 on a perfume that I don't know that I love. So that's another reason why I love Scentbird because I can get a fragrance, which I really think this is a great amount. And I am not breaking the bank. I feel like $15 a month is such a, an affordable price, but they're also giving you guys 30% off if you use my code. I'll have everything linked in the description as well as I'll have it across the screen right now. So if you use my code, you'll get 30% off. It's only $15 a month. And then you can sample hundreds and hundreds of different fragrances. So I'm gonna share with you the ones that I got really quick. Also, they come in these really cute little pouches. These are like velvet. So these are really great because you can just throw them in your purse or your travel bag. Side note, they also send these fragrance cards in with your fragrances and on the back, it's going to tell you the notes. Okay, so I'm gonna go through each one really quickly and I am gonna tell you the notes because I think this is fun and you might be interested in knowing. If you are gonna do Scentbird and maybe you need some ideas on what to get. So this one is Nanette Lepore Luna and it is Mandarin a word I can't pronounce, osmanthus, aquatic, rose petals, and jasmine. So this is a floral, fresh scent. And then I got Juicy Couture, which is caramel, vanilla, mandarin orange, praline, and berries. It's a very fruity scent. I really, really like this one. This is a popular one. Most people probably know what Viva um, La Juicy smells like. And I got Burberry Brit Sheer, which is peony, yuzu, peach blossom, musk, and pineapple. So it is a floral slash fruity scent, and I tend to gravitate towards more fruity scents. So I do really like this one, and I'm like, I feel like a kind of a nerd, but I'm geeking out because I have such a high-end perfume, and also I didn't spend hardly anything on it so and then, like I said this is gonna last me a really long time and the last one I got is English laundry and this one is vanilla whipped cream almond gardenia and pear and it smells so good you guys this is a really great fall scent and like I said there's so much that comes in one of these vials here that I honestly think is gonna last you more than 30 days they also have an app that you can download it makes it really easy to go through and pick which scent that you want and to kind of browse and see what they have so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this little scent bird haul I'm really really excited about it I've been loving using these every day definitely check out the description box and let's go ahead and get back to cleaning. So I'm using this Dawn Power Wash. Now this is actually meant for your dishes, but I don't really like using it for them, but I love using it in the shower and bathtubs. I think it does a wonderful job of breaking down the soap scum and just making it shine. So that's where I've been using it. And I have it in the green apple scent, which smells really, really good. And if you're wondering what this spot is, so I had a friend sent me some really adorable little rose soaps that you put into the bath and they kind of dissolve and they make your bath pretty and it smells really nice. Well, this one in particular did not dissolve in my bath for some reason it kind of just melted into a puddle and made a huge mess so as you can see I was kind of struggling to get that cleaned up but I did get it all cleaned up and I just had to scrub and take a rag and it took some elbow grease but I did get it cleaned up but that's how I love to clean my tub is with that Dawn power wash and then I am going to clean my jets I normally run bleach through them but I recently have been back on my pine saw kick as you can see my huge tub of pine saw right there so I'm actually going to run pine saw through the jets because it smells really good and it makes your whole house smell really clean but it also disinfects and cleans really well.
also using the pine saw to mop my floors up here today. Okay guys, this is what we're working with in my master bedroom. It is a complete disaster. Um, my husband came home from a trip and he just left his bags here. He actually put all his dirty laundry here and I washed it. So at least that's cleaned up, but I just have stuff everywhere and Kinsley's been playing in here while I clean. So I'm gonna change the sheets. I think my quilt's about ready. Well actually think it's still washing but it's almost ready to be put in the dryer so hopefully it will be ready soon and I'm just gonna straighten up in here change the sheets vacuum and dust So we haven't actually started school back here yet in my county. They pushed it to the very end of the month, but we will be starting very soon. And our girls are going traditional and I don't foresee that lasting very long. Honestly, I think that they will probably be back home before too long with the way things are, but I'm really hoping that that's not the case. They are gonna go traditional though, and I feel like that's very important, especially for Kinsley because she's in kindergarten and she really needs a professional and hands-on and that whole experience. So I'm so happy and thankful that they do have that option. They will have to wear masks and they do have all sorts of procedures in place for them and I'm really confident in my school's ability to take care of my children so I'm not worried about that at all. I'm really excited for them to be able to go back and get back into that routine and I'm just hoping and praying that everything stays the way that it should and we can just get back to normal because I'm sure you all feel the same. I'm sure we're all so ready to just feel normal again and have normal routines.
As always, I'm using my Indus to clean the stainless steel appliances in my kitchen because it does an amazing job of making it shine. You'll be able to see for yourself how awesome it does. It cleans off any food, grime, or fingerprints that are on there, but it also shines it and makes it look really, really nice, just basically brand new. It doesn't last long because people I don't know why, but like when I'm done cleaning my fridge, I will find fingerprints like whole spread your fingers wide, palm, everything, prints on the fridge. Like I don't understand why you would need to touch a refrigerator that way, but every single time it never fails, there are fingerprints on it. And that's one thing I hate about stainless steel. It's beautiful, but it is really hard to keep clean. In our old house we had, it wasn't stainless steel, but it looked like stainless steel. I don't know what the material was called, but I loved it because it did not show fingerprints like stainless steel does. Oh, I really wish that stainless steel did not show fingerprints like it does, but it shows watermarks and fingerprints and just everything. So I feel like I'm constantly cleaning it where it just looks completely disgusting. So I'm using my Bissell Crosswave, which is my mop and vacuum in one. It sucks up all of the dirt and debris. It also releases a solution and sucks up the water as well. I have a video entirely on this if you're interested, but some of the common questions I get about it are, does it release a constant solution? And the answer is no. So there's a trigger that I pull to release solution or not. So like when I picked that rug up, I didn't release solution. I just vacuumed up any dust and crumbs under there but you can release as much water or as little water as you want. And the dirty water tank in this thing is so disgusting when I'm done. I've showed it several times. It looks like chocolate milk with dog hair and fruit loops in it. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I just made you nauseous. I just made myself nauseous, but I love it. And so I had bought one and something happened. It just stopped working, but I called Bissell and they, no questions asked. They just wanted the serial number and they sent me a brand new one, not even a refurbished one, which I was really surprised by. They sent me an entirely brand new one with everything in the box, even the sample cleaners. So their customer service is phenomenal. And this is my new one and I'm so happy. I missed it so much. I think I went four weeks without my Bissell Crosswave cordless and I missed it so much more than I even thought I would. It is very expensive, but it's so worth the investment if you have a lot of hard flooring in your house. As you can see up on my big wrought iron pieces, I do have some fall wreaths that I found at Walmart hanging up there. I got a little ahead of myself. I bought them a couple of weeks ago. I think they're so pretty and I went ahead and hung them up and I still have some of my summer decor out, but I am taking that up in today's video. So right now I have no summer slash like year round decor out. I just have a couple of fall things that I've picked up this year, but I'm going to be bringing up all of my fall decor from the basement and decorating very, very soon. And I'm of course filming that for you guys. So stay tuned. That video will be up on September 2nd and you guys will get to see me decorate this house for fall. And I think it's going to turn out so pretty. Last year I did decorate it, but we had just moved in. So things just weren't the same this year. Everything is much more the way that I want it. So I think that it's going to be beautiful. Hey guys, so I got done cleaning and I got a, I've got Kinsley here. Um, I got a Bath and Body Works 
package and I had ordered some candles and some wallflowers. So I thought you guys might like to see them. You're always asking like my favorite scents and stuff. So I can't see. So I'm going to show you really quickly. I can't even remember what I ordered, but I know that I got fall scents because I didn't really have any leftover from last year. So I'm going to show you, I got wallflowers. I'm going to show you those champagne and apple honey. I've never tried this one before. Let's see, what does it say? It says pink lady apple sparkling champagne and jasmine honey are the notes there. Here you go. You can look at that one. Just don't drop it. They are glass. And then I got mahogany apple. And the notes for this are mahogany woods, golden apple, and lavender sprigs. I have never smelled any of these scents before. It's with apple. Okay, Marshmallow Fireside. This is one of my favorites. It smells very vanilla-y. Love it. But the notes are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and fire-roasted vanilla. Oh, you gotta open them to smell them. Then I got White Pumpkin. I've never smelled this one before. It says White Pumpkin, Autumn Spice Blend, and Ground Cinnamon. Don't take the tags off, please. Then I got Vanilla Sage. And it is Frosted Sage, White Lavender, and Vanilla Cream. And then the candles, I got Marshmallow Fireside, which... Oh, and the actual wax is gray. That's different. Okay. This is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so good. Marshmallow Fireside. You cannot go wrong. Um, wow, this is different packaging. Usually they're in those like little crates that you kind of squeeze and they pop open. That's interesting. Guess maybe had some problems with those or something. I don't know. I think it was breaks too much. Okay, so then we have vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. This is another one of my absolute favorites. Mmm. Oh, let me read the notes to you on it's this one like if favorite. I can find them. Okay. So this is Tahitian vanilla pumpkin spice homemade marshmallow drizzled caramel with essential oils. So that's what that one smells like. We got, oh, banana walnut muffin. I've never smelled this one. Smell that. that smells really, really good. So that's mm. sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. Don't bump, oh, don't bump my camera off there. It's, you guys are just setting up on the arm of my chair. And one more, and then this is all I got. Okay, this one's Almond Blossom. The packaging is really cute. If I can get it out of the box. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute I'm the packaging is. I'm excited to smell that. I'm excited to smell better. Good. This smells good. Smells like, um, like you would expect almond can to I smell? smell, I think. Yes, you can, mm -hmm. just one second. So it's Sweet Almond Blossom, Vanilla Orchid, Sandalwood. It's not, it's not my favorite. Mm, it's not my favorite, but it, it doesn't, smells, it's good. I think I'm gonna like it. It smells like cake. Um, we'll see when I burn, but I like the top of that too. It's really pretty. It smells like cake. Here, wait, shh, listen, I'm gonna do some ASMR. I'm gonna try that. You wanna try? <laughs> the lid for the vanilla pumpkin is pumpkins. Isn't that cute? Okay, so that's all I got. I just wanted to include this footage this in today's video this for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm feeling way too low to start this night, but I want to get to your bash. Last night you tried to make me angry, but... Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up before you head out and I will see you guys in next week's video.